Joining us, we begin with breaking news out of Iraq, where there's been a stampede in the southern city of Basra. We understand it took place at the Palm Trunk Stadium ahead of the final of the Arabian Gulf Cup there. There are reports of dozens of people injured. Let's bring in Mahmoud Abdel Wahad, who's on the line from Basra. Mahmoud, what's happened? Well, fully, uh, we have been getting the reports from the Interior Ministry uh, confirming two dead and about 80 others injured in a stampede that started this morning uh, around the, the Palm Trunk uh, Stadium uh, here in Basra, uh, one of the stadiums allocated for the matches of the Arabian Gulf Cup uh, 25th uh, edition. As you know that, according to the Iraqi uh, Football Federation, about 90% of the tickets were already sold uh, on a line ahead of the uh, ahead of KKR. That has made many, many football mad fans, especially Iraqis, as you know that, those who have come from several uh, provinces across Iraq, they have been traveling for long hours to reach Basra to attend, to say, to, to see the, the, the matches in the stadium, in the stadium, to see their heroes. Uh, in action in the stadium. Uh, that has made many of them try to reach uh, to the stadiums as much as uh, they uh, can. As you know that uh, tens of thousands of uh, fans from other countries, especially from uh, Gulf states, have been coming to Basra. And that has already uh, put more pressure on the already stretched uh, infrastructure in the city. As you know, this is the first time the city hosts uh, such a tournament and that uh, all, that's also after uh, 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 more than four decades yeah. of isolation uh, and sanctions on Iraq uh, that has prevented the, 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 the country from uh, hosting any uh, sportive uh, activities. So, okay. uh, we are seeing some pretty graphic getting, pictures. Getting... Mahmoud, I'm, I'm sorry, I just have to apologize to our viewers who may be sensitive to some of the pictures we're seeing right now. They are very graphic. These are the latest pictures we're getting out of Basra, where again, if you're just joining us, there's been a stampede outside of the stadium there, the international stadium, which is about to host the final of the Arabian Gulf Cup. At least two people are reported killed. Dozens have been injured. Uh, Mahmoud Abdel Wahad is on the phone uh, with us. Uh, Mahmoud, as you've said, uh, this uh, is uh, Golf Cup. It was the first major tournament to be held in Iraq in 40 years. And, and there was a, a lot of concerns about challenges for the Iraqi authorities. You know, now that we see such an event happening, uh, there are going to be questions raised about the organization and, and the authorities' ability to host such a big tournament. Well, 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 exactly. Uh, the authorities are not hiding it. I mean, uh, they say they say we we are lucky that we're hosting this special event, but the city is not uh, as fully prepared as it should be. They they they, they admit that the city uh, uh, there is a lot of work needs to be done for the city to be fully prepared for uh, such an event. Uh, you know that Basra has been suffering uh, from. Uh, several odds over the past decades, including uh, 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 lack of uh, services, uh, security vacuum, and it has witnessed a lot of conflict, even uh, recently. Uh, the fact that it is also away from the central government in Baghdad uh, probably has made it far from uh, any improvement or development uh, uh, plans. You know that despite the fact that Basra is a rich city, it has about 70% uh, of Iraq's oil, but it, it, yet it is still suffering, it is still uh, partly marginalized. And uh, this event, despite the fact that it ends to some extent the isolation the city and the country has been suffering from for, for years, but also it is an opening with the Gulf countries as the Basra people here say and hope. They're hopeful that this tournament is reuniting Basra and Iraq with the other Gulf states. But again, uh, you know that only uh, two uh, stadiums have been prepared for the tournament. The Basra Stadium that uh, can uh, uh, accommodate about 65,000 fans. The other is the uh, Port Olympic Stadium. Okay. 
and with, with capacity of about 30,000 fans. You know, the, this is only the, the, the capacity of the city. This is only yeah. what the city can offer for this uh, tournament. A tragedy there in, in uh, southern Iraq, in Basra. Mahmoud Abdel Wahad, thank you very much for the latest there. We will, of course, be checking in with you throughout the day for the latest on the story. At least two people dead in a stampede in southern Iraq, in the city of Basra, outside the international stadium there, which was about to host the final of the 2023 Golf Cup which was the first major football tournament to be held in Iraq in 40 years. We'll have the latest for you on Al Jazeera throughout the day. Let's move on.